Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. I... um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, 
I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and... fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? I'm trying to help. I just don't know what I can do. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? 
I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else.